What's up y'all, welcome back to Ron P Media. So you wanna get your home studio started, you've been on YouTube for hours, you've been looking up all the things you need, but I feel like these things that I'm about to talk about is the things they never really tell you about. So if you wanna see what I'm talking about, stay tuned, keep watching. What's up y'all, so make sure before this video start, y'all hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so y'all will be updated when I put out new content. Without further ado, let's just jump into it. I think that a lot of people, when they talk about starting their home studio, they don't talk about these little things. And one of the little things, is literally little, that I'm gonna talk about right now is I think that you should always invest in the 3.5 millimeter, the 6.35 millimeter adapters. That's the standard size for an audio interface. And you need one of those if you plan on recording. Um, that's the size of the headphone jack in the audio interface, most audio interface. And then on top of that, these little things sometimes can help connect your studio monitors to the audio interface. Just depends on what kind of studio monitor you have. But uh, these little things is definitely a must have if you're starting your home studio. You can never have enough of them. And I recommend not buying the gold ones. These ones right here, do not buy these because for some reason, these always short out, they mess up, so do not get the gold ones. I will put in the link um, in the description, a link to the ones that I use, and I think these ones work great. But yeah, always invest in these little things right here because they can help your studio more than you know. And the saying today in this video is, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it, all right? So another thing I would recommend buying for your home studio that a lot of people don't talk about is headphone amps. These things is good if you plan on recording with other people and, um, and, and, and being able to adjust each individual headphone. So for example, if I'm engineering a session, I might need my headphones low and they might want their headphones high. So that way this little thing right here can control you know multiple headphones and they're usually up to about four just these little ones i mean they have headphone amps where you can rec record and control up to 10 headphones but just for your home studio these usually record um not record they usually um you're able to control four different headphones with these which goes back to the 3.5 to 6.35 millimeter adapters this headphone amp requires that. You know, you need those for the headphone amp because most standard headphones is usually 3.5 millimeter and this is what's gonna convert that little 3.5 to a 6.35 millimeter that is gonna work with your audio interface and your headphone amp. So I would recommend getting a headphone amp. Another thing you cannot have enough of is cords, wires, cables. Um, I have a lot of XLR um, cables and you know these cords sometimes they go out they have shortages and if you don't have the right cord you can't record I just thought of that it's always good to have that uh, that extra set of cables you never know when you're gonna need them um, another uh, cord that I would recommend always have an extra of is the cord that goes from your interface to your computer you can never have enough of those um so check the back of your interface see what cord that is and order up just like two extra ones just to be safe aux cords just random cords sometimes i go to stores and i see like cords and i'll be like well i don't need it but i might need it and i still get it so if you got the extra money invest in some extra cords you can never go wrong all right Another thing I would suggest investing in, and a lot of people don't talk about this when they talk about home studios, is a power conditioner. I use the Furman power conditioners. I think that they are the best. And if you don't know what a power conditioner is, what you do is you plug all of your studio equipment, you know, your studio monitors, whatever, you plug all of that stuff into this. And then you plug the conditioner into the wall. So if anything happened, if you have faulty wiring in your house or a, a weird surge thing mess up, I don't know, it will blow up that power conditioner before it touches your equipment. You know, I had a KRK Rocket 5 and I used to have it plugged into the wall and we used to stay in this small little spot and 
the wire was the the wiring in the place was crappy so what happened was my krk ended up like i don't know it fried or it, it messed up some kind of little went through the cord and messed up my krk i lost the krk and we all know krk's is a little pricey so um if i would have had it plugged into this power conditioner it would have messed up the power conditioner before it touched my equipment so you know studio equipment is expensive monitors are expensive uh speakers are expensive you know so if you want to protect your equipment i was highly highly recommend using a power conditioner i put in the uh, description a link to the one that i use but you can get them for about a hundred dollars and i would recommend not using like the ones from walmart like don't just go to walmart and grab the little bar and then plug all of your stuff in that you want something that's gonna that's strong enough to protect your studio equipment and you know all of your stuff so if you plan on starting a home studio please invest in one of those don't try to take the cheap way out sometimes you have to spend a little extra to protect your equipment you know what i'm saying so make sure you invest in that another thing i would recommend investing in is the little wind uh screens you put on top of your microphones now these aren't necessary but if you have a home studio and you're in the bedroom and you don't have uh, acoustic paneling on the wall or it's not as soundproof as you want it i would recommend using this because it prevents a lot of reverb and it gives your microphone a warmer sound you know i mean depending on what microphone you use but like i said it's not necessary but again if you don't have an isolated area or or, or um, a soundproof area these will help because when you mix in your music you don't want to have like too much reverb you, you want your vo vocals to sound a little warmer a little more fuller and this can definitely help with that you know depending on the microphone some microphones you don't even need it but you know just this is something that you can look into maybe you might need it might not but it's good to have these things laying around the last thing that i'm going to talk about is a pop filter it's good to have pop filters laying around you never know when you're going to need them but you know they definitely help so when you puh and suh and t those sounds are hard to take out when you're mixing so a pop filter would definitely help with that you know it's always good like i said it's always good to have those laying around and on top of that if you mix the pop filter with the windscreen it helps with you know your mixing and your vocals your vocals is going to sound a lot much better if you have these things you know again depending on the microphone but definitely a pop filter and the winds the windscreen i like I, I like to say they work together you know what i'm saying so a pop filter you know they super inexpensive and again it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it all right so all right y'all that was the end of this video make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and if y'all want me to do a more in-depth video about studio equipment or even the bigger things that you might need or whatever just let me know comment down below let me know what y'all want to see i appreciate y'all watching this video make sure y'all get this video a thumbs up so i know that y'all rocking with me and i know i could keep keep making this these kind of videos for y'all you know what i'm saying so i appreciate y'all rocking with me also if y'all want to get a ron p media t-shirt just comment down below below i will send you all the information you get a shirt support your boy i appreciate y'all rocking with me until the next video we out peace love